Thank you for calling Plumbing Services. We are not able to answer the phone right now. You call it very important to us. Please leave a message and we will return your call as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for calling Plumbing Services. We left a voicemail with Marco's own message that he left for us. I'm not clean. What kind of guy are you? Are? I'm not clean. What kind of guy are you? Are? Asshole. He did not listen to this voicemail and instead. Incoming call. Hello? Chris? This is Roger. Who am I speaking with? This is Marco, Plumbing Services. What can I do for you? I got a situation over here off of Galton. We had a $2.50 mechanism that you put in. It's, it's squirting Blansberries on there. Okay. We didn't know what we were supposed to do, but we turned it, turned it on and it didn't work right. Uh-huh. You can get over here and fix it. Right now? Well, I don't know. He gave me a said he didn't. said he was going to fix that? it. What's that? You said you're going to fix it. You gave me your phone number. Who gave you my number? It was Stephen Botchko Incorporated. Okay. He was a he made two episodes of Be With. <clears throat> Sir, mm -hmm. do, you realize, do you realize that if I go over to your house, it's going to cost you a lot of money tonight? Yeah, money is no object. Yeah. You know what's an object is a Rubik's Cube my kid threw away from 1983. I understand, sir. If I go over to your property, it's going to cost you over $300. Well, you're going to make what right was once wrong, just like Sam Beckett on that Quantum Leap show. What do you want me to do, sir? Let's make sure it stops squirting Blansberries all over my wife when she goes to turn on that sink. You think to what? She goes and turns on the sink and it starts squirting Blansberries everywhere. Okay. What city are you in? It's a dink blade. Where? Okay. Mm -hmm. What address do you have? 423. Ain't nobody, Mario. Grand Avenue. Okay. One ninety nine. are you out of your mind? What's, what do you, what do you say? I heard something. Well, I'm getting, you know, there's a noise making it's getting in the way of my phone call. I didn't hear that. What was that noise? Okay, sir. Good night. What's it? We'll call him back. Yeah, call me back tomorrow. Okay. Well, we got Bansberries being squirted on my wife's face. I don't like it. Okay, we talk about it tomorrow. Okay. Well, how are we supposed to do? Put a towel over it. Shut the water off in the house and call me tomorrow. It's not if it's a drain that's got Blansberries coming up out of it. Too many of them for me, I'm she asked me. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Good night. It's one, how much are you charging? One ninety nine. No. Almost three hundred dollars. How much? What is that noise? How much is it? Three minutes later, after he listened to himself and his voicemail message. We now join a prank call already in progress. Incoming call. Hello? Hello? What kind of guy are you? What kind of guy are you? Asshole. I'm sorry, who's... Hello, we are not available now. What's that noise? Thank you for calling Plumbing Services. We are not able to answer the phone right now. You call, it's very important to us. One of the things I've learned to do is uh, laugh at myself. I know how serious this disease is. And uh, in doing so, you'll, you'll find that life has uh, some wonderful things to offer you. Diabetes doesn't have to take over your life. I'm surrounded by people who love me, who care for me, and who want me to feel better. Mm. When I don't eat apple pie and I don't eat ice cream and I eat the foods that I'm supposed to eat, I do feel better. In closing, I would simply like to say to you, thanks for your time. Have a good day. The end.